after another, or else they'll wear down. So you gotta be really clever how you do the matchmaking. What's a, what's a good um, three months, four months, five months, is that a good layoff period? Or do they need more for a blockbuster in your, in your opinion, your historical opinion? My historical opinion, the great fight is fought five times a year. I mean, look at us. Look at us, De La Hoya's record. Look at, uh, uh, at Mayweather when we had him. Look at uh, uh, all, all the great fight Lennon. Right now, it's hard to do, but I want my guys to fight at least three times a year. At least, at least three times a year. So what? What, what makes it so difficult to get that more to fight in? Well, that that depends. Some guys. Never want to get out of the gym. Want to get back in the ring as soon as possible. And so, realistically, they can fight four times. With the current, if five is a little too much. I mean, we found it was too much. But four times, that's the outer limit. And that means that they fight once every three months. Last question for me, Bob. When you identify a fighter that joins your camp, what is it? What is it about that fighter that you're looking for? We're looking for really good talent, a charismatic kid, and a kid who's a good citizen. I don't want to waste my time with kids that are running the streets and are not going to be good citizens. Now that doesn't mean that a kid won't, at one point, like it happened with Shakur a year ago, get into trouble. But if he has the right people around him, they'll straighten him out, and then he'll be on the straight and narrow. And Shakur, luckily, had uh, the grandfather and Coach K, and they straightened him out. But I don't want kids, I, like I couldn't handle a grown -up. There's no 